Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Backyard Bandits. So, we are actually one episode past where we should be because uh, the last episode I didn't check my hard drive space and I only recorded half of it, which sucks. It, was an, it wasn't a really tough mission. It was against the Torian Concordia. We did pick up a couple of things though. We managed to get enough sea bills to get past the uh, uh, financial report, which is good. Uh, we're, we're that much closer to getting the boar's head done. So I'll have to go back and remember what I said last episode. So last episode, the boar's head is underway to getting repaired. Um, it's in melee configuration right now. But once it's done, the last this next 10 days, I've got to pull all of the melee items off it. Because what I did when I, when I put them on, I put them on damage first, then damage plus percentage damage items, and then percentage damage items, like you're supposed to. But I put them on all at once. So I think what you're supposed to do, if I remember correctly, is put you put your damage item on first, you know, then you repair it, put the next damage item on, then you repair it. So that way it calculates it each time it gets repaired, uh, rather than trying to do it all at once, and you end up with more damage in the end than you would if you drop it all at the same time. So uh, I wanted to make sure it would be configured correctly, so that's why I kind of put everything in there first. And then when it gets done and comes back, I'll pull off all the melee items and then go through one day at a time and get them, get them all back on in the correct order, making sure that everything is maxed out. Uh, now, it, it, it is hitting for more than the archer, but right now not significantly more, which has got me worried a little bit. But I'm sure once it's on properly, it'll be a lot higher. So we'll see how that goes. The longbow got significantly damaged the last mission. It was just... I got I was being hit by mortar eights from a vehicle that was sitting behind a rock. It stripped most of the armor off, which is why it is where it is. Um, it didn't take any internal damage. I didn't take any internal damage on any of my mechs, but Metal Arc did get hit in the head. Um, we faced a couple of Atlases, basically stock loadouts, Kaiju, Zeus stock, uh, Talos. Um, we were managed to pull down the two artillery turrets early, plus an artillery vehicle early, so we were able to su sustain a lot less damage. Um, and we got a boar's head part, a Zeus part, a couple of XL engines which I sold, and a couple of other minor things, nothing that was a major, a couple of prototype double heat sinks, things like that. So we did okay. Uh, we did make 1.5 million though off the last one. So that was good. Now, um, that being said, having a look at the mech bay, um, I did talk briefly about the mechs here. The Milnir, we're going to hold on to for now. Um, we might be able to crank in three PPCs on this thing. Uh, Fist of Dorm was mentioning, even if there's three stock PPCs, this thing does really well, right? Um, the fire control system champion is actually really nice in this. Um, it does plus 15% damage and plus one accuracy with PPCs and Gauss rifles, which is great. Um, but I think it's just better to put uh, PPCs on this thing. Uh, because they're lighter, you can get more of them in, and we can sink the heat without a problem, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, but if we put Gauss rifles in, where I think we're limited to two, maybe, and while we might have a little bit more range with the Gauss and a little bit over, like a little bit more damage per hit, I think that having more PPCs on it would probably be better. So that's a possibility, but that's kind of the last in the list of what I want to get updated. So we'll leave it there for now. The Kraken is uh, not the next mech I'm going to get repaired. Um, I was going to make this guy the artillery mech, and then I had a look at the Highlander. I'll do this real quick, because I've already done it once, I don't want to do it again. But this mech, the Highlander, uh, is, I think, will will be the the um, perfect uh, artillery mech. Because if you do this, drop a sniper in here, and then go over here, and use either the TBM-30 in this arm, right? Or we drop in an Arrow 4 in this arm. Um, either one will work. Now, it this thing doesn't have a core, so like you're like, oh, you know, the weight's not going to work. And no, it will, because if you get this guy in there, right, let's say we use, we don't need to put an, uh, one of those engines in it. Uh, we'll just put a regular double heatsink kit in there, because we're going to need the heat. And then we come down, double XL gyro, throw that in, and then we grab a core from down here, like a 280 or something like that, or 275, because it doesn't need to move very fast. We got tons of room for ammo and case and all that stuff, right? Heat seeking is is perfectly fine, right? We don't, 60 60. We don't have to worry about it with the arrow. And then if we go back to the TBM, it's a little hotter, but not much. Uh, so where is TBM 30 instead? I wish they would swap out when you did that. So TBM 30 is a little heavier, a little hotter, 
but I think the damage is better overall. Um, I don't know. I haven't decided whether I want to go with area effect damage or direct direct damage. Um, but either one will be fine. Both the, uh, the TBM is a little harder to hit. Um, like minus 10% chance to be shot down by AMS, but it'll still get shot down, right? So that's something we have to consider. But yeah, I mean, overall, this Highlander could easily become an artillery mech and just have it stand there. I can strip armor off it even if I wanted to, but it could just stand there at a distance and shoot. It doesn't have to do much. Like, I can even drop the core even more if I needed to, right? Put an AMS on it and we're good to go, you know? So I think that's what's going to happen with the uh, with the Highlander. Um, just one other point. It's like, I, you know, if it's not this, then what? Like, uh, where's the Goss, right? We can't get a heavy Goss in there which sucks, right? So it would be a regular Gauss rifle in the arm, probably, right? Or, like, I mean, we could put a Rotary 5 in the arm. The Rack 20, maybe, but we don't have the ammo for it, so there's no point, right? Um, heavy Rotary 5, we could drop in if we wanted to, but then it, we're, we're building a, uh, a heavier, like, slightly heavier version in the Victor. What's the point, right? So you could drop an Ultra 10 in, but I think that's underpowered for the weight. I mean, Ultra 10 is not bad, but then you need to jam a bunch of ammo and stuff in it. It's 2 times 60. You're better off putting two PPCs in, you know? Um, I know, you know, you could argue heat, but I can sink the heat. I'm not worried about that. Sinking the heat is easy. Um, but I think it, it would be underpowered. So I think using this as an artillery mech is probably the best best way to go. You know, because then, the, you know, even if you go this route, then what do you offset it with with missiles? Like you want you want to put missiles in the other arm. It's like then what what am I going to put in it like SRM sixes or something <laughs> like You know at this level, it's just not going to cut it maybe an MRM 40 or something, but You know I guess you could go that route and then try and find place for all the ammo But still then we got to we need to crank the speed up to get into range So I think artillery mech is probably the best way to go with the Highlander um now that said, we got to talk about uh, when this series is going to end because the next version of Rogue Tech is out and it breaks saves. Uh, if you haven't looked up what the next version brings, it is a ton of stuff. Um, it's the I, I read the the notes on it and it's just outstanding. The work that they've done to put that thing put to put this game together is just completely outstanding. Having three lances, two mech lances plus a um, a vehicle lance so the vehicles are in the game now being able to choose your drop location um, so you just don't get a random drop you can choose where you're going to be dropped into battle uh, new minefields there's all, all kinds of stuff it's just um, a complete overhaul to the game so uh, I gotta decide when this series is going to end I want uh, not until after we get the boar head, boar's head into battle and we can see what it does um, and maybe fixing up the, the Highlander but I don't know I'm kind of torn. I really want to get into the new, new, uh, the new content, um, but we're at a point now in this too where it's like we're kind of getting really good stuff, and I don't want to like miss out on that. So I don't know. And I, I, th I toy with the idea of running two series at the same time, but um, just with the way my life is right now, I don't think that's really feasible. I think that would just be too overtaxing for me, um, because I'm still trying to do seven days to die content as well. I really love playing that game. Um, so, you know, it, having that extra little bit of series, it would, I think it would, having two Rogue Tech series would take away from both of them rather than being able to focus on just one. And I want to definitely get more Rogue Tech content out during the week too. So um, I got to figure out when the switch is going to happen. Probably sooner rather than later, I think. Um, I've got a lot of the elements built already for the new series, the Battle for Astrakhazi. Um, the idea is... It's going to be like we're fighting in the same system the entire time. We won't be the the. I'm going to be running two two games side by side, making it look like we're running one big uh, company, um, and then we're fighting in one system. So, eat, and that system, of course, has got all the varied environments, right? So, it doesn't matter what what planet we're actually on and what battles we're actually fighting. We can tie it all into the same system to make it look like we're accomplishing things all in one one uh, one system, right? Um, plus the fact that Astrakhazi, if you look it up on Sarna.net, um, it's an independent planet. There's rumors that 
um, there's a hidden Star League cache there, or cache, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and, you know, people have been trying to find this for a long time. So we're going to be going there to do the same thing. Now, as we're there, things are going to develop and it's going to become a hotbed for uh, intrigue and different houses are going to be sending mercenary units there to try and find out what's going on. Um, civil war in this system, things like that. So it'll be all kinds of craziness going on, giving us all kinds of opportunities to to both, you know, kind of role play our company, but also have a v wide variety of different battles against different um, different factions. And then, you know, we either ally sometimes with them if it's in our best interest or we, uh, you know, we fight against them if it's not, right? So that's the goal, um, to try and, you know, you know, kind of role play a big, a, a, ba a massive battle kind of for one system, one independent system on the periphery. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. And like I said, we can get, we can have battles against anything. So we can, you know, one unit can travel the clan space and make it look like we're fighting, you know, clan units. We're going to do it around uh, uh, 2062, I think it is, after the clan war. Uh, clan Smoke Jaguar is kind of broken up and the units that we're, that are, our mechs are from is there's a um, and I think I mentioned this before we've got a we're gonna have a bonds a Karita bondsman unit and a freeborn uh, clan unit those are the two units that we're gonna start off with um, and they'll re obviously because it'll be two separate games each one will be remaining in, in like intact and independent of each other but they're part of the same team right so each one will get deployed separately but be moving out the same like against the same goals i have to figure out a way to do that maybe i have some episodes where it's you know we're both fighting the same battle but in different areas and we kind of cut back and forth i don't know i haven't figured out how, how that's going to work yet but we'll work it out but that's the goal um uh, and that's what i really want to get into that but i don't want to just leave this uh, this uh, series hanging so that being said uh we got to take another mission here before the end of the month i want to get some more sea bills is if we're going to get get that highlander into battle before the series ends I want to do it sooner rather than later. The board said we'll definitely, hopefully, the next battle will be in, into play. So um, let's have a look at, not the barracks. Let's have a, oh, maybe we should look at the barracks. I don't know. I haven't been back to the pilots in a while. Okay. Arachne. Commander. No. Yeah. What can I do? You okay, please? focus. Uh, I think we wanted to go, was it tactics? No, I think we wanted, I think we were saving for this. Minus two recoil penalty. Let's confirm Great. that. And then. Orders. I like to say too that you know our, our pilots have survived to the end here, which is great. Uh, this is hot shot. Now, do we want to go minus ten percent stability damage taken? I think we go with piloting now. Plus two a bit max evasion. I mean, it's not like he's. Well, we might get a little bit of extra with the uh, supercharger on, but it's unlikely. But I think that minus ten percent stability damage I think is good for this guy. So let's confirm that. And then Jaws, yeah, we got nothing for you. Larky's down for the count. Uh, what does Guts give us? Plus two health. No, I think we're going to save for, I think it's this one, Call Shot Mastery. Yeah, saving for Call Shot Mastery on Queen B. Scramble, we're good. Sledgy Boy, we're good. Yes, Squire. No, we're saving our gunnery up, I think, weren't we? Plus one max evasion. Ah, yeah, let's leave it. We'll save it for gunnery. And Swifty, we're good, I think. Yeah, okay, good. So, command center. I already know what we're doing today. So, it's just a general mission. Heavy static. I really thought about doing this one. I really, really did. And I'm like, this would be perfect for the Atlas. Right? The new Millie Atlas. But it won't be ready in time, unfortunately. Because with heavy static, the, where we did the blackout mission in, in general... At the very end, you get a lance of guys dropping. Uh, I haven't done it at this level yet, so I don't know if it's two lances or just one. And they target the base right away. So unless you can pull them down really fast with the mechs you have, it's you're going to lose the mission, right? And I don't want to risk taking that and just, you know, sucking it up. I think if we were in a better position, I would go ahead and do that. But we're going to take Leave No Trace right now. This is just going to be a, a, I don't want to call it a cakewalk mission. But it's against uh, Coalition, um, just to destroy base mission in the desert. 
Let me go maximum salvage, get some stuff out of this. We're bouncing back and forth between coalition and um, and um, oh god, my brain's fried. Uh, between the pirates and coalition. All right, so we're gonna do you and you, Arachne. Your mech is down, so we can't really bring Hotshot up here to second position. Let's bring in the old Black Knight. Uh, we want the I want the awesome back in. I still I really like the awesome. I gotta say, where's focus? Uh oh, focus is already in. Right, you're in with the blur. Yeah. So let's bring in Swifty on the uh, awesome, and then I'm gonna run since our pilot for the vulture is out, and I love the vulture. I'm gonna bring Hopper in on the vulture. I think we're gonna run this. I think this should work really well against a destroyed base at this level. I think there should be no problem. All right, let's do it. Command All right, here we go. Yeah, it's always a secure facility. Watch your heat. This climate won't help with dispersal. Yeah, thanks for that. Ooh, that's an interesting drop. Um, be nice if we had an artillery mech. We could just sit here and kill those guys, but. Uh, yeah, we don't at this point. All right, um, so I guess we're going down and up the hill over here. All right, let's go. Got it. Got it. Uh, I don't know if we have to go down this way or can we go? We can go down over here, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's get the supercharger on. A little bit of extra movement. Roger. Um, what are you? Awesome. Uh, let's go this way. On my way. And you can kind of just jump over here. And focus. Command up. Moving. Yeah, so that uh Battle Master last battle. Oh my god. So we had the Battle Master with us. Um and we had uh, the victor with us last battle, and the battle master. Oh my God! Roger that. Those PPCs just wreck people. Aye aye. The, it's just the the battle master is so good. Let's walk it over there. Sure. And sure. Location confirmed. <coughs> I don't think I would change the loadout on this Battlemaster at all. The uh, snub nose PPCs at range and the heavy PPC when it gets into just a little bit more range, just it would just wreck people at, at in that last mission. The one that you won't get to see because I only recorded half of it. I'm not going to bother playing the rest of it. Although I do need to check. Um, somebody remind me at the end of this mission. I got to check that. Um, I gotta check that, uh, oh shit, let's wait for you, hot shot first. I gotta check that, um, Zeus part to see if we can actually use it with the, uh, the Zeus components that we already do have. I'd love to be able to get that Zeus together. Cause I wanna see what that looks like with those freaking wings and stuff on the back, it's pretty cool I gotta say. Okay, keep you out of the play for now. Until we need you. Yeah, last battle that Burkut did really well. It didn't mess up with the uh didn't mess up by uh <laughs> leaving her hung out to dry in the middle of the enemies. A lot of vehicles I'm hearing. It's kinda lousy. It's all vehicles I'm hearing. Fuck me. Uh, let's go this way. Heading out. Alright, we're seeing the turrets. Uh, can we get down over there? I think we can. Uh, let's bring you up here to protect right, that flank. Because we got these guys that still need to get up here. Right, Commander. Um, 
Um, it's not a word and don't think it is. We'll go. Okay, get up there. Ah, shit. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Be there in the no, you won't. I think it's slow as fuzz. That's okay, though. It's built It's built for standing on a hill and smashing the enemies at a distance is what that thing's built for. Alright, B. Let's see what we got here. We got heavy command bunker. That's got to go down. Where are the other turrets now? One on this side. There's one over here. Where's that last turret now? It's down here, I think, isn't it? Yeah, right there. No, wait, that's one, two, three, four. There's two over there. Okay. So let's get you. I don't know, uh, kind of hesitant. Let's do a phantom mech right off the bat. And let's see what we can find. Let's get into here. Prepping for jump. All right, what do we got here? The Babd Katha? Babd Katha, yeah. Two light PPCs and two ATM 12s. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna brace it though. We don't really have sights on anybody we want to take a shot at. Periphery Pike. Light rotary rifles. Uh, I think we need to kill that command bunker. Um, Standing by. It's probably got uh, both oh, AMS and no. stealth. Probably. That's a building. We can get those anytime. Why can't I target you? I could use tab because that would work. Yeah, I don't know. Wait till we get a little closer. Waiting on you, Commander. So the thing about the ammunition builds, you don't want to be firing too early, right? You got lasers, fire all you want, but if you got an ammunition build, you want to be able to to handle it till the like fight to the end here. Let's go with both ER larges. Ooh, one hit, that's nice. Take that, looks like a pen. I don't know if it did though. Ready for order. Ready for orders. Nothing, eh? Then let's go this way. Let's go this way. Are you done? This is, I, I think it's going to turn out good for us. Well for us. With the exception of being able to see the Daily enemy. Hit, Commander. Hoping the Burkut can handle that mission because we don't have any indirect. Stand right behind the awesome. The way. I'm coming in fast. No, no, let him stay there because that way he can take the damage rather than you. You got to get closer. He doesn't. Well, that's something. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, just relax. You're the only one they can see right now, so... Centuri on. Waiting for orders. All right, hot shot. Uh, let's get that supercharger back on. Can we get down that way? We can. But let's get in the trees here. Acknowledged. It's going to slow us down slightly, but it's definitely worth it. With our piloting skill turned up too, it really helps with the supercharger. Fuck off. I'm losing armor. Not much armor left in that location. Fucking Heliopolis is. They've got a sensor lock on me. Yeah. Light damage. Holding firm. That's why we got to get in and see these turrets. Got to see their artillery so we can kill it. Both those turrets are artillery turrets. What do we got here? Ost War, okay. 
It's like 80 tons, isn't it? Or 70? Is it 80 tons, I think it is? Isn't the Oswar 80 or 75? There's the Oss Scout, which I think is 20 tons or 25. Ostrock, Ostol, and then Ostwar. Yeah, good luck with that. So they got two Let's artillery. Crap. Okay, it's not going to be anywhere near as easy as I thought it was going to be. So we got heavy rifle position, heavy howitzer, the two howitzer 2000s. Hooray for that. Isn't that going to be wonderful? These guys are the artillery ba babies, Heliopolises, Calliope, right? Yeah. Ost War. Okay, not too bad. This guy. It's a party truck. Disco lasers. <laughs> See, that's the reason why I want to get into the new version of Rogue Tech, because I want to get the party truck. It's the whole reason. It's the only reason why you play that version. Good to go. Party truck. Coordinates received. All right, we need to go against turrets here. Can we? Centuri on. No, we can't even see the turrets now. Oh, ballista artillery tank, which we can't see. That guy's got to die too. Uh, this guy's on our flank here. Probably the least of a threat though, but 10%. It's probably the best chance to hit. Ah, oh, we're at range here. We could take the building, but no. That'll get shot down. Um, let's hold off on the Thunderbolt 15. We'll fire lasers on this guy. Alright, another hit. That's good. Good, good, good. He's panicking. Order. Yeah, this is going to be a tricky one. It's going to be a tricky one. Um, let's just turn you off. We don't need it on at this point. Ooh, I can't get enough rotation for the command bunker? Oh, it's just out of range. Can't be out of range. I guess it is. Uh... Do I waste a turn, though? I guess I have to. Get down here. Okay, this will be an interesting battle. Yes, Commander. What's our chance in this command bunker? I think a lot of our problems will be solved if we can kill this guy. Alright, uh, let's fire the Thunderbolt just to see... Yeah, it does have AMS. Okay, nothing. Missed. I was pretty sure it did, I just wanted to make sure. Looks like an archer. Talk to me. Oof, look at the instability on this guy. You know who the threat is, that's for sure. Affirmative. I wonder if I should use the MRMs against that bunker. They're harder to shoot down with AMS. Well, what's what do we got on range here though? It's eleven percent. That's with incendiary though. Proved is 22, it's not bad. We've got what? 12, 12 and a half turns of firing with this stuff. I think we really need to kill that command bunker. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to Warlord this too. Let's get some damage up front if we can on this thing. It's going to be a few turns before we're in where we can really shred somebody, so... Okay. Streak missed, but we got a lot of damage to it. That's fine. Hopefully we can get the PPCs on it this turn. She's not going to be there this turn, so that's fine. She will not be there for the rest of this turn. God damn, this thing is so slow. We gotta spread out, but I, I need to get some damage on this bunker. That's not bad. Let's take it. Okay, we got one hit. Okay. Aye, aye. No, no attacking, just jumping. Copy that. Just jumping. But I can't waste the uh, resolve right now. You don't have the resolve right now, that is, to be able to make you stable. So we'll just get you to come back here and have a seat. Yeah, not having the longbow or an art artillery mech is going to hurt us on this one, I think. As long as they split their fire up... Damage. This guy is yeah, don't say things like that. If they can split their fire up, that'll be good. They probably can't see a lot of our guys back here. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you're taking all the artillery this time. Systems holding. He really is the big threat though. Kinda worried about him operating on his own over there, but nobody else has got the speed to help him out. Well, that's nice. Those are the howitzers. Hey, watch the paint, pal. Okay, we managed to just get through that without being completely, completely, completely unstable. Do I? Can we not get down this fucking hill? How is this? Oh, for. Pardon my French. Nothing pisses me off more than not being able to move where I want to. Affirmative. We gotta kill this turret. It's gotta go. It's hampering us. It's too much. What's up, boss? Now you need to close too, so let's get you down here. Can't get the turret there though. That's fine. We're spreading out. Aye, aye. We gotta do that. What else can we hit here? Is that a building? Oh, I guess because it's stick... How are we hitting that one? That's beyond me. Alright, let's target this guy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Warlord it just because if we can kill him fast, that way I don't have to worry about him anymore. Um, let's go to four. Crap. Well, we, it looks like we penetrated, though. What's up, boss? Alright, buddy, do we have enough, uh, we don't have enough. Acknowledged. Gotta get our resolve up. Alrighty. 50%. Let's warlord this. If we can kill this Ostwar, that'll be a big win. Here we go. Acknowledged. Okay, the big one hit. That's nice. Score to 
critical hit. Penned, I think it was a leg shot. Yep. Yeah, I like playing without without the damage readout. I think that's a little bit too um I don't want to say cheaty in in my uh Commander? kind of vocabulary because it's not really cheaty. It's just cheesy if right, that makes commander. sense. Like firing at an enemy when you're completely on the move and you barely got sensors on them, you're barely going to detect if you're if you're hitting them or not, you know? Okay, we got one on. That's good. You know what I mean? So it's like, I like seeing where the shots go and, and having a pretty good guess. And you can always right click on it and look too, right? Oh, good. Thanks guys. Appreciate that. Appreciate you damaging yourselves. It's always good. It's always a win. You think you can handle that disco truck? Actually, I think you should probably, uh, ah, fuck. You got to kill the disco truck if it's, if you're going to get over there. Let's get you into here. We'll get you as a support on this side for now. Uh, we got a tag barrage. So let's just go ahead. Confirm that. Beautiful. So we're spotting a minefield here. God, we gotta kill these artillery vehicles. So that command bunker's got a crazy ECM too, right? So once it's gone, it'll make things a lot easier. You just gotta get rid of it, that's it. Waiting for orders. Alright. Okay. I'm on it. You know your job, buddy. You know your job. We see that command bunker. That could be a kill shot on that guy. Where's the command bunker? There you are. Uh, yeah, it's going to go right back to that guy, is it? Come on. There you go. 28%. Nothing, huh? After I bragged about you in the last mission... He was hitting like 27% chance shots with like a couple of them. And this one he's just like, eh, I don't really feel like fighting. Tired after that last mission. Reporting. Minimal damage. It's a good example of how having like artillery can really uh, stop an enemy from getting close to you. Gonna have to build an artillery mech early next time, I think. See if we can get, like, you know, obviously we won't get a sniper, but a thumper or something early and see if we can get it, get one running. Because those are misses and we're taking big damage. So they got two ballistas back there, maybe three. Fucking minefields. At least they can't see me for direct fire. That's all I gotta say. But we're losing armor fast, so if you don't kill those artillery... <sighs> Light damage. Holding firm. Well, we're almost at a point where we can get direct fire shots on them. Almost. Receiving you. There we go. I copy. Solid line of sight. Just walk it over. There we go. Yeah. Thank you for fixing this way. They f they did this is so good. So I got a hundred, but we're going all out on this guy. Oh, fuck! Are you kidding me? Might as well spread that damage around, huh? Nothing like giving your enemy a fair chance to kill you. Systems holding. Uh huh. I was really hoping to pull one of those guns out. Ah, <laughs> oh, 
we got the MRMs coming in though, so. Talk to me. That's the Centurion. Can I not see the, uh, I gotta stay up here to hit that turret, huh? We need to close though. So I gotta I have to move forward. I have to move forward. Okay, not the best. Um Yeah, let's just go with it. I want to save the acid for when it's really important. Standing by. Okay, buddy. Let's get this on. We got to generate some evasion here. Let's get you over here. Christ, look at the CT on this thing. Okay, um, Vigilance. Got line of sight now on this guy. 33%, huh? Well, better than nothing. Good shooting. We get it? Standing by. Engaging jump jets. Fuck this turret. Gotta kill it. Roger that. Yes, good shooting. NSS destroyed, beautiful. Score to critical hit. Waiting for orders. It's low chances, but it's gotta go. Fuck. Critical hit, Commander. Oh, did some damage to their own stuff back there. Okay, that hurt. Hope he doesn't get unstable. They're gonna try an artier, I think. On my way. Ah, uh, I could risk trying to kill this guy this turn, or we go after this guy and make sure we pull out a uh, sniper. I think that was more important. Report. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Yeah, so benefits of big maps is you can, you can maneuver around, but the drawbacks of big maps is if they got lots of artillery, you could be in like serious trouble. Like this opposition really isn't that tough. And if we landed closer, we could probably shred these turrets real fast, but the distance is killing us, right? And once again, the Atlas, thinking, thinking of the Boar's Head Atlas, how useless it would be in this battle. If they were shooting at it, maybe it would be okay. By the time it got close, it would have so much armor stripped off it that it would just be useless. Here comes the disco truck. <laughs> I love that. Disco lasers. Narked. Fuck. Damage minimal. You gotta get the hell out of there. Don't fall over whatever you do. Shit. Got a weapon. God damn it. Hope our artillery landing over there takes out that turret.
53 damage. Not enough. Orders. This thing is fucking with our targeting. Kill it with fire. It's gotta go. There it goes there. Let's see that. It's punched right through his armor. Goes ZCM. Yes, Commander. How are you doing, buddy? Okay, your right side is kind of okay. Let's turn the supercharger off. Well, we can still run it. This may seem like a bad idea, but we need to do this. Alright, uh, I'm going to turn these two off for now. I think this should probably be more than enough to kill this thing. Yeah. One more for the trash heap. Okay. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting some eyes on now. I thought being on this hill was going to be a good position, but these guys are behind stuff. It's like... I can't, I can't see them. Ready for orders. You have to walk. You know what? Forget it. Just brace it up. Oh. Yeah. God, I'm hit. Oh. We lost the mech. Fuck. You fucking chicken shit. Commander? Ah, I shouldn't say that. She's done really well. Can't get that far over there. Okay, let's take this guy out. Come on, there you are. Firing on target. Little overkill, but it had to be done. That turret is gone. Okay, guys. Commander. already making a difference. Okay. A few hits. Hopefully they run out of ammo. Wouldn't that be nice? Not likely though. Okay. Wonder how much the archer would have made a difference in this battle. Fuck me. You're gonna regret that. No, he's not. Let's 
He's going to knock your ass over is what he's going to do. There it is. God damn it, man. Well, at least they're helping us out. I've been sensor locked. This was supposed to be an easy mission. The fuck happened? I know what happened. Friggin' our artillery across the map board happened. Luck's got nothing to do with it. Stop hitting my damage mech. Good to go. Well, we got line of sight on this guy, so we're gonna take it. I'm hoping they switch targets, but. Okay, good damage. He's panicking, which is a good thing. It's the artillery that's killing us, man. Minimal damage, Commander. Fuck. Stop it. I'm losing armor. Yeah, you're gonna lose the mech too. Maybe we'll be down to one lance after this. <laughs> oh, God! My armor's in bad shape. Yeah, it is. Commander. Okay, we can turn the supercharger off now. On the move. As much as I want to kill that mech, these guys are the worst ones. It's got to be everything. Roger. Beautiful. One for the scrap heap. Yes, Commander. Chuck that up as a win. Ooh, can we see a turret from here? Moving out. Can. That's the heavy rifle position. Not really that scary, but still has to go down. Let's wind the rack up. Copy that. Okay, a couple hits. Good to go. Fuck this guy because we can. Are you kidding me? How do you miss that? How do you miss that? How did he miss that? At least, this, at least that guy's missing. I love the artwork on that, uh... Yeah, fuck you. I love the artwork on that, uh, mining rig here. It's pretty cool. I love how it's like, big laser boring a hole in the center of the earth. I love how these guys are going before me. The bastard breached my armor. I go on eight. Don't the turrets go lower than that? They punch through my defenses. You've got my attention. I'll never stay down. Sometimes it's just better, buddy. Sometimes it's just better. Move to where they can't see you directly. Let's 
clean this guy up. Overkill. Okay, where are you mostly damaged here? That's the uh, left side. So if we show the right side. Actually, we can go into trees and show the right side. Something like that. Copy that. And that way. Can go ahead. That's improved. Acid really drops the chance to hit. Let's go with the better chance to hit. Uh, I'm going to Warlord this too. Because fuck him. Oh, it's like a streak hit. Okay, nice. Target destroyed. Like, this thing's so scary when it's getting close. Standing by. Like, the Black Knight is scary as shit, too, but, like... There's nothing scarier than just getting hit by about 50 missiles, you know? Sorry, that's like 70 missiles. Okay, let's hope we finish this guy up. Oh, fuck's sake. Fucking big one missed again. Can you see the ballista? You cannot. If we move, can you see the ballista? You can. Beautiful. Try and take care of this threat. Wow, look at the heat, eh? Uh, these guys are the big heat. Also the best chance to hit. What if I pull off the largest? Not enough. Thunderbolt? Yeah. Go with the best chance to hit, I think. And the best damage. Roger that. Okay, one hit. Penetrated. Beautiful. Bailout. Nah, fuck. Couldn't get that lucky. Order. Orders. Can't see that ballista anywhere, huh? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it's a building. That's a building. Wait, you can get over here though. You can get over here though. Kill him! Oh, see him fly away? See ya. That's a kill. Okay, starting to feel better about this. Two artillery vehicles gone. Well, you have to, buddy. You don't have a choice. <coughs> that archer's all yours, though. Waiting for orders. All right, you can see a mech from back here, so let's do this. Not the best positioning, but we got to take out guns. Leaving it full. Let's warlord this. We gotta drop our heat too. Here it comes. Alright, spread the damage around a little bit. We got that torso pretty hit pretty good hit though, I think. I think it penetrated the right torso there. Right, left. Oh yeah, right torso. Armor breach. Internal damage. Yeah. I know. Last war. You might be the next target. Reporting heavy damage. Yeah, I know. Damage minimal. That's the howitzer. My 
damned armor's busted. That I can't see. Commander? All weapons are go. Okay, good damage. Critical hit, Commander. That might give it us the ability to get our uh if we can kill a centurion. We might be able to get the vulture in to see that back turret. Good to go. I copy. Move a little bit. Alright, hammer this guy. Here it comes. Oh, he's like seriously damaged. Okay, his big gun's gone. Knocked down. Okay, cool. See ya. Okay. You've got my attention. Fucking howitzer turret. Oh, we finally got eyes on. Okay, well, not eyes, but sensors. That's great chances to hit. Um, does acid... Oh, we have less chance to hit with acid, though. I need to go with better chance to hit. I know. need to know we're going to hit this turret. Streak hit. Is it gone? It looked like it was flattened there, but I guess not. Waiting for orders. It's moving out. Fuck this guy. Ooh. Yeah, someone's got a lot of AMS. Fuck. I was hoping I could get lucky on that. Okay, that's fine. I'll have to deal with that. Ready for orders. You don't have any ability to shoot that back turret, huh? Hmm. All right, let's warlord this. Let's go after this guy. I wonder what it would be to... Eighty-eight, oh, 63. Still, that's pretty good, though. Let's go after that leg. Nice. Goes his whole side, pretty much. I'm glad I did that. Okay, that's those two guys. This guy and this guy pretty much taken care of. We got Calliope turret, the Howitzer turret, and two Heliopolises at the back. Support Lance, 0%. Base Garrison, 20 uh, So they've got... It's interesting. Seven guys Thanks left? Uh-huh. Yep, that howitzer turret's gotta go. It's gotta go. Destroy the facility 204. They've done that for me already. It's beautiful. I figure if I bide my time, maybe they'll destroy the whole base for me. Okay, uh... Ooh, we can see this guy too, eh? It's only 35% though. No, I think we gotta go after the, uh, this guy. Uh, let's just leave this off. Fuck. 
Ah, I should have left it on. Kind of realized that as I was pulling the trigger. Took a hard hit there. I oh, decided to commit suicide. Isn't that nice? Order. How far can I get? Thirty-three, huh? Still can't get that far because reasons. Shit. Uh I got to stay in the trees. Let's go for it on this guy. Okay, two hits. Okay, let's fry this guy. Ah, I love the effects, they're beautiful. Alright, that problem Target solved. Good to go. These guys are so far to position now that we can't see anybody. Leave this off because we're going to need it for long distance. Oops. Uh, yep. Wow. Only hit with one. We killed him at least. Enemy down. Good to go. All four of them. Nice. Two. They got seven guys and one turret left. And I'm only seeing four. That shot went critical. Unless this is a, a half lance, which could very well be. You got my attention. Full speed, huh? I wonder if we can't get that far. Like, I wonder if we're not allowed to pass here. That's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three is four. No, so maybe that's that's four as well. Okay, so that's the right distance. Just doesn't look right. as fast as I can. What's up, buddy? Got something for you. Roger that. Okay, got some good acid on him. Waiting for orders. Let's just do our job. Uh, can we hit a building with more than just two?
Do we have we got thermal as well? Let's use a thermal. Tell me what to shoot. Wow. Sure. Whatever. Standing by. Whatever works for you. Try and finish these buildings up for crying out loud. Locked on target. There we go. One less structure. I don't know where our extraction point is. Probably up to the right. Always seems to be like the farthest away from where we are. What's up, buddy? Let's drop some heat. Oh! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Alright, that whole match was totally worth it now. <laughs> ah, that mech. I swear to God. Let's just hammer this guy again. Locked on top. All right, cord that guy too. See ya. Mech destroyed. Oh, he's finally coming around. Shit! What was that? I've lost a weapon. Was it this guy? Or was that the Calliope turret? Probably, I. Eh? Fuck. Good to go. Double time. Can't underestimate the Calliope turret. All right, we can get some ERs on this guy anyway. Uh, I guess it won't matter if this is uh, standard or not. Fuck. Ooh. Yeah, ooh is right. Receiving you. Okay, that's a solid line. Roger. Yeah, shouldn't have underestimated this guy. Wow, out of range, eh? Affirmative. Nothing. Ready for orders. Better turn that off. Alrighty, let's take down another building. That way I know we're done here. Let's take this guy down. Locked on. Or not. Let's just pretend we're taking buildings down. Talk to me. Fuck, we lost the streak camera M30. Fucking Calliope turret. Copy that. Well, we got a streak 40. It's just more weight. Aye, aye. Yes, command. All right, buddy. Calliope turret, can you see it? Ah, uh, you can't get past the, uh, awesome, fuck.
Well, let's see if we can finish that building off. Should be able to. Yeah, where is the LZ? Oh, right here. It's not too bad, I guess, but still. It's a lifetime away. Fuck! God damn it! I guess now is the time to switch to a new series. <laughs> Fuck me! Well, that's a piss off. Confirm. Come on, here we go. Let's see if we can get a kill on this guy. Wow, we got one hit anyway. Alright, closing on the Calliope. Yeah, who would have thought the Calliope turret would have been the one that would do the most wrecking here at the end? Okay, we almost got him. My guess is that guy's out of ammo. Reserve you for a second. I don't know if we can get around this uh, awesome here. Waiting for orders. Can you move? That's as far as you can go, huh? Fuck. Okay. It's almost dead. Hopefully we can do catastrophic damage here. Or not hit it at all, that works too. Let's get a solid line here. Let's get a solid line. Alright, let's shoot at this guy. Might as well warlord it now. All right, here it comes. Got it. All right, at least we got one hit on him for sensor impairment. Okay, that was bad. Yeah, that Calliope turret's got to go. Good to go. Wait a minute, how come we can't see it now? The fuck? Roger that. Oh, I guess because it would have been out of... Yeah, okay. It's hidden. That's why. Alright, firing again. Still going, of course. That hit something good. Order. But you didn't kill it. Hammer him. Okay, we missed the big one, but some of the smaller ones hit. That's alright. That's alright. 
Shoot this fucking turret. Kill it with fire. God damn it. Critical hit, Commander. This has been the worst match yet. Like honestly, the worst match for us yet. And it's because we don't have any artillery. We don't have any long range Commander. artillery. That's what it is. If we'd had the longbow, things would probably be different. We're relying on long range direct fire. Which is not cutting it. Like, look at the damage on that. I wonder if we'll make our financial report now. That's all we got. Roger. That course is still going. Solid connection on that one. I'm out Not of a kill, though. Not a kill. Come on, buddy. You just need one hit. One hit. There you go. Finally. Turret destroyed. Ready for order. God, we're in cleanup. Let's get this done, guys. Come on. Target acquired. No joy. Standing by. Come on, fuck him up. 43%, we'll take it. There goes the leg, I think. Maybe. Inflicted some heavy damage. Nope. Nope. So the bonus thing about the next series is running two different uh, series side by side. We can focus on just having one lance apiece and sinking all of our sea bills for each series into one lance only rather than having to split it up a bunch uh, a bu up a bunch of multiple lances and trying to function that way which as you can see here is is becoming increasingly difficult right uh do we kill the other guy or try to kill the other guy um uh, no, let's start softening this guy with a better chance to hit. Okay, good shooting. Waiting for orders. Doesn't matter which one. Tell me what to shoot. Okay, at least one hit. Oh, that hit too. Nice. Nice. Yes, Fuck him. Fuck. Really? Spread it around. Might as well spread it around. Yes, Commander. Come on, hit him. Well, there goes the leg. Solid connection on that. You know, it's sad that we can only kill these mechs when they run out of ammo. Kind of weird ass looking mechs, but still. It'd kind of be cool with having a couple of those, with each one having a sniper, sniper artillery. So the next, I think the next series, we're gonna try and uh, get that second dropship fast. Just so we can have multiple lances going at once. Well, slightly better on this guy, so we'll take it. Might as well warlord it, because why not? Right, Commander. Well, that hit. That's nice. That Thunderbolt's doing well, I gotta say. Even though, I, I think percentage-wise, it's had lower chances to hit for a lot of the... Uh, times it's been in use, but it's done really well. Might as well go six. Fuck them. 
Got two rounds left. Yes, Commander. Come on, let's finish this guy off. Jesus Christ, come on! Waiting for orders. Go with the better chance to hit. Taking so long. Damage in light. They can't uh, hit us. We can't hit them. Aye, aye. Uh, at least we ended up with Gauss rifle ammo left here at the end. Oh, of course, not, not that it's actually hitting anything, but that's that's all right. It's actually getting worse and worse to hit this guy. There you go! <laughs> he says after... <laughs> That's a kill. Uh, Receiving you. I'll take every little win I possibly can get. Alright, let's just shoot this guy with the remainder of our ammo. Oh, we got a hit hit on him. Battle should not have gone on this long. Good to go. Man, this is like so ridiculous. Commencing alpha strike. Kill confirmed. Wow. Gotcha. Thermal boat OP, man. That's crazy. We actually have to leave? I guess we have to Commander. I guess we have to leave. All right. Well, I'll see you once everybody's out. Full speed. No target. Good to go. On the move. Full speed. <laughs> Position confirmed. Moving to position. Move order received. On my way. Heading out. down. Moving to position. Aye, aye. Roger that. Digging in. On my way. Moving out. Stabilizing and bracing. Moving to position. Alright guys, to add insult to injury, we had to run through a frickin' minefield to get out of here. So we took more damage even before the end. God damn it, what a shit mission. I hope we didn't lose either of those mechs. Mission successful. Alright, contract payment increased by 20, 30, 40, 50 percent, 60 percent. Not that it matters because it's going to cost way more than this to fix everything. Oh, well, Arachne only took one, or, uh, sorry, Queen Bee only took one crit. So.
Okay, well, they didn't show up in here, so I'm assuming that we didn't lose them. Hey, Disco Lasers, quantity 4. Tonnage 3, damage 8 times 3, times 4. So they get... What? It's a chem laser. 96 damage? It fires 3 times, times 8, up to 4 shots. That's kind of... <laughs> that would have been a cool weapon to use early in the game. Hellstorm Artillery. We've already got one of these, but that's kind of interesting. ATM-12 Clan. What's the weight on this thing? 7 tons. It's not bad. We do have a little bit of ATM ammo. Thunderbolt Pack. God, these guys have a lot of stuff. Battle Computer Extreme Range. That would be great for the... Uh, artillery mech but really right now I'm just looking for sea bills if that's nothing plus two ballistic accuracy minus two recoil I'm gonna drop that in for now range finder triple plus times two yeah we'll take the times two range finders fuck right fucking right we will Sensor trackers, upper recoil, that's kind of nice. Jeez, there's really nothing here. All right, we're taking components. Let's take the upper recoil. Upper spiked, eh? Minus 10% reduced melee damage taken, plus 10% melee damage. Zero tons. Really? Weighs ten percent of t one tenth of the chassis tonnage, so it'll be so one tenth of a hundred tons is ten. It'd be one ton on an atlas. I'm just trying to think if we can get that into the other atlas or into our uh, melee atlas. Although I think I should probably take this. Uh, let's go that route and see where it gets us. All right, let's go this route. Oh, three hel three helopolis parts. Helopolis, arrow one shot. We've got two of these already, so I think we can afford just to sell that. LRM ten can go. Long range is nice. Primitive cockpit can go. Uh, reinforced. That's the uh, lighter version, right? Plus 50 structure points. Plus 25% weight change for structure. Let's hang on to those. Recon sensors are good. Heavy rifle sabo. Sabo. 60% damage delta armor. Plus and minus 25 variable weapon damage. Don't we need heavy rifle ammo for something that we have? can't remember. Light rifle ammo we don't need. Sniper ammo quality, <laughs> quantity 9. Well I think we can successfully sell that because we've already got 9 of them. Let's hang on to the improved ATM ammo though. Alright so I think component wise we did okay. Everything else was shit. Well that's a lot. One and an eighth, one and an eighth million Oh, it's one of the few times we actually come up with less C bills in our bank than we started with. Ah, uh, now I gotta sell stuff. What are we looking at for? Uh, Recruits only seven days. Vultures fifteen days, which is shocking. But we lost a lot of shit on that, though. Uh. Okay, Boris head goes up. This sucks. Okay, Boris head battle master we want to bring back. We could definitely we want to get in. We got to get that fixed. Um, we need to get a lance together here. 
something that can support the boar's head. So, I don't know. I mean, the Black Knight definitely is a good support for the boar's head. Traveling alongside it, getting in close. Recruit, we definitely need back. Battle Master, we can get back in four days, so let's do that. Let's start off with this. And I'll figure it out as we go. Just too much time to get everything fixed. Yeah, see, at a certain point, even with maxed out mech bays, it's like... <sighs> just so much. Alright, let's just see if we can throw some shit. I, I think we're just going to have to sell stuff. Alright, um, so heavy. Holopolis we can put together. And probably just sell it. Uh, assault wise we don't have anything. Medium we don't have anything. And selling like mechs now is just like it's it's so like there's like there's no <laughs> nothing that's like you, you don't get really much for it oh so i guess the zeus actually let's look at this sorry ha assault again i guess that zeus part doesn't count towards the zeus x yeah it doesn't i guess it's specific you need like zeus x or advanced zeus to be able to make it work ah crap oh well that's no worries all right, let's put the Helopolis together. Uh, wait, we can't. Oh shoot! Right, uh, sorry. I, was, I saw it as a solid pink. I thought we could put one together, but we can't. Never mind. All right, let's just leave it. I'm gonna have to sort through and figure out what we're gonna do here. Let's put the bushwhacker. Man. We're really only running one lance. I could really use these X pulses and stuff elsewhere. MRM 30. Maybe we just put this in storage. Save a bit of sea bills. The Blackhawk, while it was working well. I don't know, man. Maybe I just make a command decision to start trashing stuff. We're getting close to the end of the series anyway. I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. Let me know what you think. That was a devastating blow. I'm going to have to sell some stuff. Figure out what we're going to do before the financial report, which is like eight days away. I don't think we can pull another mission off. Not in eight days. We won't have the mechs back for that. What do we have command center wise? Yeah, four skull, destroy base defend base. Well, we might be able to pull that one off. What can we get back in eight days? Oops, barracks. No, nope. fucking mech bay. Come on. What can we back? We got the black, we got three mechs right now. So, we can get back if we just went eight, well, it has to be less than eight days. We can get the Burkut, the battle master. That's it. So we'd have five mechs. And that could end up in disaster. Well, it's four skulls, though. Let's try it. So... I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, when we come back, we're going to try that defend base mission with five mechs. It's against the pirates. Ah, it's going to be really iffy. But we'll try. It's a Tundra mission too, so maybe, I don't know, maybe... Alright, so I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Sucks that we lost two mechs, but we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll reload them out. Um, 
if you enjoyed this episode, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.